Yes, uh, my name is uh, Engineer Dr. Kwame Buwachi, and I'm a past president of uh, the Ghana Institution of uh, Engineering. And I've also uh, served as you know, corporate vice president for technology for uh, a multi billion dollar company in the US, Harris Corporation. I was the chief technology officer for many years, yeah, before I retired. And then uh, now I'm mostly in Ghana. I've also uh, done business in Nigeria. You know, uh, we put together a fiber optic network company in Nigeria. You know, so I'm a bit familiar with uh, parts of the continent. Yeah, uh, let me start uh, with a few comments. Clearly, it doesn't matter what you do. If you cannot feed yourself, you have a problem. You know. Uh, yeah, so uh, ultimately we need to apply our energy, our ingenuity and everything to make sure that uh, our people get fed. Uh, Ghana, I mean, I think uh, we haven't solved the problem completely, but maybe we are not as desperate as some of the other countries. You know, That should not give us comfort until we get to a point where nobody goes to bed hungry. I don't think we can feel good, you know, as a people. So that's where the uh, food situation is. Now, in terms of, uh, of course, there's a lot that we are doing, and the government is putting a lot of emphasis on uh, agriculture, you know. Uh, and so I believe that uh, in due course, we will get there, you know. But we are not moving fast enough. And this is where engineering comes in. It is my conviction that, uh, in fact, I have often said that uh, Ghana and indeed Africa is going nowhere without engineering. You know, nobody ever developed without engineering. You, there's no, you know, you show me any place. And particularly you need to develop indigenous engineering. You know, so engineering is critical to everything that you do. And as a matter of fact, what you find is that there are many things which on the surface don't look like engineering problems, but they truly are. You know, for example, in the medical area, you can either spend a lot of money buying medicines, you know, to treat malaria and so on, or you can improve your drainage system. You know, so there are, yes, so there are a lot of things that engineering can help us, you know, solve. But we have to start thinking, you know, non-linearly. You know, and I think if we can bring engineering into our day-to-day -day lives on the continent, there are many of the problems that we will solve. Yes, I think this is a, it's very good for us to get together. Okay. Uh, again, I have said that in Africa, our challenge is not that we don't have brilliant people. You know. In fact, we have a lot of individual excellence, but we have group incompetence. We have not managed to put ourselves together as a group to solve you know, the major problems of the continent. And gatherings like this are part of the process to solve the problem of group incompetence. And I think if we're able to build group competence, that's what will push the continent forward.